Okay, so most of our face is already done. Today's video is all about the foundation. So I will share with you a little bit later in the video what I have on my eyes as I do my bottom lash line. But to, again, today is all about the foundation. So I thought we would go in and go ahead and start priming our face. So I thought we would use the Hourglass Primer. And this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer with a broad spectrum of SPF 15. So we're going to go ahead and apply this to the face. I pumped too much out. Now this is not a mattifying primer. Um, the what I see mostly when using this primer is that it is a smoothing primer. So if you have somewhere to go where you're going to be in extreme heat, I would definitely, if you're going to use this primer, I would definitely also put a mattifying primer along with it. And I, if, I don't know if you guys can see, but it just, like I said, has the blurring property to it. Like I feel like my pores are not standing out as much under this uh, primer. I think it's just like a diffusing primer. And next, we do have the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Glow Foundation. This is the packaging of it. This does retail for $58. Now, the lady in the store, we had a really difficult time uh, finding my shade. Um, I had ordered one shade online, and when I went and did further investigation. I tried to cancel that shade because I did an in-store pickup. I asked her if you could just exchange it for another shade, which really wasn't my shade either. But the lady at the store, she was so very helpful. And um, they didn't have the hourglass um, foundation on the shelf yet. They had it in the back and she kept running to the back looking for shades for me. And then finally she said, um, with this shade, which is shade 15.5, um, she said, um, let's try this shade and, you know, we'll just make it into a sample. And if this shade works for you, then you can just go ahead and take this shade. And so that's what we did. We ended up going with this shade here. But like I said, it was really super hard to find a shade. We went through maybe three shades plus the two that I had thought that I thought I would wear, but it didn't work out. So I think we're going to go in. I feel like just going in with a brush today. And I'm just going to give it a spritz with my MAC Fix Plus. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, let me shake it up. You know, I'm over having these foundations that are not my shade. And I'd rather go too dark than too light. The Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation retails for $58 and it comes in 32 shades. It has a natural finish, medium coverage, and is cruelty free. This is a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. It has light diffusing pigments. It delivers a natural soft focus finish and help protect against blue light. It has blurring spears that minimize the look of imperfections, fine lines, and wrinkles. It has white tea extract, vitamin E, and antioxidants. This foundation is free of parabens and contains less than 1% synthetic fragrance. It is also vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. 
Okay, what do you guys think? Forget this foundation on this side. This side with no foundation. Just go with me. And this side with the foundation. My skin. Foundation. I drove to pick up this foundation because, you know, we only have the JC piece of, uh, the JC Penny Sephora in my area. So I had to drive to pick this up. Since I have so much, I might as well put it on my forehead. You know, I have to try to stop doing that. We're just going to see if this is mature skin friendly. And it's like I said, it's part of the ambient glow. I don't have any of the ambient powders. I have bought one one time before, but honey, it did not work for you, girl. Had me looking so ashy. So this is right here, my hyperpigmentation. It always stands at attention, no matter what. Then I have a little bit right here, but I don't think it's that bad at um, trying to cover it up. Didn't do too badly. I have a window right there, so I'm gonna try to hide the glare. Okay, so guys, what do you think? I'm usually just um, a one-pump girl. I don't keep going in trying to build up and build up. I'm not a full coverage girl, so medium is my comfort zone. So, what do you think? I'll come in. And I do think it is a good shade match. I think this is as close as I could get because the rest of them were just too dark. I wouldn't have fit in that category. So we just went with this. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the rest of our face. I am going to take this tinted. Um, what is this called? Live Tinted. And just correct just a little right here. And for our foundation, we're going to do a mixture. I have two different shades in the Hourglass Foundation. Okay, I have the shade Teak, and I also have the shade Maple, so I just mix these two together. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab our powder. I am using my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, and this is in Translucent Medium. I do, um, if you're new here, I do Shop My Stash videos, and this is currently in my Shop My Stash. I'm going to try to use as many of those 
uh, products as possible. And to set my under eyes, I do have my Black Radiance setting powder. This is just a banana shade. I do have mature skin, so I don't bake or anything like that. And for my bronzer that we're going to be using, we are using the Color Rain bronzer in the shade Naughty Spice. This is what it looks like right here. For blush, I have my Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Love. Okay, this is so pretty. So pretty. Next up, we're going to go in with our highlighter. And we're just using our Becca. This is in the shade Topaz. That's what it looks like right here. All right, so we have all of the base products on. Let's just go ahead and spray the face. What I typically, what I typically like to do is spray my sponge. 
and just go ahead and stamp it onto the face. That way I can kind of control where it goes or how much goes on. Now I am ready to tackle my lower lash line in the palette that we used today for our eyes. We use the Busy Art. Oh, this is the Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette by Busy Art. And I use this shade right here for my outer corner. And I used this shade right here to kind of blend this shade. And then I went in with this shade right here for underneath my brow bone and the shadow that's on my lid i use the desert lights yeah the desert lights eyeshadow palette and i went in with this shade right here next to the outer v and then i went in with this shade right here, which is kind of a dual chrome, I went to the inner part of my eye. Okay, so I did go ahead and pull my Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Alkaline. I pulled this to do my lower lash line. Okay, I have that on and what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this Vizzy Art palette and I'm going to tip dip back into this shade right here and just bring it down below kind of smoking out that Urban Decay Alkaline Alright, and now what I'll do is just go ahead and grab that shade that I have in this outer corner. And I'm going to bring that below to my lower lash line. Okay, so now we have all that done. What we're going to do now is just add a little mascara to our bottom lash line. And then we'll talk about the foundation after we do our lippy. Okay, so lastly, let's go in with our lip color. Um... I have pulled a lip shade that I wanted to wear today and we're going to first line our lips with this Morphe liner in the shade Hoover. And now I have a little lip gloss in the shade Flesh 4 by Pat McGrath. And like I mentioned, today's uh, focus is strictly on this foundation. 
And again, this is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have it in the shade 15.5. Um, there wasn't anything else. The rest of the shades, if I would have tried to go darker, they would have been too deep for me. This is a medium coverage foundation. We could have tried to build it up a little bit, but medium is what I go for. I do not go for full coverage foundations typically. Um, medium is what I go for. So even with that said, I think that everything turned out really nicely. I'll pull you in so you can see the base just a little bit more. Let's see. Turn the lights down just a little. How is that? Hope that's not too dark. And I think it really actually looks pretty good. I don't have any complaints about it. It's about 4.30. I think I'll wear it for a couple of hours and then I'll hop back on so you guys can see how it wears. Um, I actually think that this foundation, you know, it says it's the Ambient Light Soft Glow. And I feel like I do see a little bit of the glow coming through. But like in a good way, it's not, you know, too luminous. It's not too radiant. It's just a, just as the name says, it is a soft ambient glow so i do feel like i can see that shining through but i think it looks nice on the skin i really um just with my guess i really don't expect the foundation on my skin to break up i don't expect it to be really oily looking i do have combo skin um i have a uh, oily t-zone and the rest of my skin is normal and in the winter that kind of switches up I still have combo skin, lean it a little bit sometimes on the dry side. I get a little few little dry patches, but for the main part, I just have normal and just an oily T-zone. So um, I really don't expect the foundation to do anything other than what it's doing now, but I will come back in a couple of hours and let you guys see. But um, until then, y'all hang tight. So I'm headed to the grocery store. This is what the foundation is looking like in natural light. So I will check back in. It's 542 right now. Okay, we're going to see how the foundation recovers. It's 100 degrees outside. I just finished putting all these groceries in my car. I'm sweating. I live in Texas. It's humid outside. So we're just going to see how everything recovers because right now I am glistening. So we will check back in. It is 625. Hi guys. I am back with the final check-in. It is about 835. And I'm ready to wash this off and get ready for bed. I do have to go to work in the morning. So just to sum things up, we are re reviewing the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation by Hourglass. And I've already showed you the clips in Natural Daylight and me coming from the grocery store where I was just sweating. I mean, it was 100 degrees. You know, in Texas, this heat does not play and it's very humid. I wanted to see how the foundation will recover. I have not touched my face. I ate dinner. My lipstick is, you know, fairly, fairly on, but I haven't touched my face whatsoever. And I think everything recovered nicely. When I went to the grocery store, I did have a face mask on and I think everything looks good. I do wear glasses. So this is what it looks like here. Let me... Where's my mirror? Yeah, right here. I can see where the foundation kind of gathered right here. And a little bit, just a little bit right here. But mainly, I have just this one spot right here. So that's not bad whatsoever. I think the face still looks good. Now, I will say I feel like I am just getting a little glow. Um, I don't think it's bad at all it's just a little glow and this is the it says it has a soft glow so that's what i feel is going on and i'm sure that the temperature outside kind of enhanced it but if this is all that it's going to do 
I think my skin still looks great. The foundation did not break down. I think that I'm not oily. Like I said, I do have an oily T-zone. I feel like I'm not oily. I just have a little glow about my skin. And like I said, I think everything still looks great. I can still see, um, can I still see my little highlighter? I can never see it. I can still see the highlighter just a little bit. I can still see my blush. My bronzer is still in place. Yeah, I think everything looks good. I see the highlighter now. <laughs> I think everything looks good on the skin. My brows are still on. Everything is looking good. So I think that this uh, foundation held up really well. Really well, considering the high temperatures that we had today. I think it held up extremely well. So like I said, I think the skin is still looking good. But, you know, like I said, I do have a little bit of glow about me. So let's just see. We're going to powder just a little bit and see if this, how nicely the skin recovers. I'm still going in with the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. That's what I used initially. And let's see. Yes, I think the, the skin recovered very nicely. Like I say, I was in 100 degree temperatures earlier. And I don't know if that, because I expected the foundation to just be in shambles, but it wasn't. So I don't know if the glow was from the foundation or um, from the extreme heat. But as you see, it recovered very nicely. I think that everything just looks so good. Yes, I'm very happy with it. So, um, I think this foundation is for everybody. If you have dry skin, combo skin, oily skin, I believe you could benefit from wearing this foundation. If you're dry, like I said, it does have a soft glow, so it doesn't make your skin look dry. If you're combo, such as myself, my T-zone didn't even get oily. And if you're oily... I think this works for you because I, like I said, I think it just gives you a soft glow. So it's not going to accentuate your oils. So I think this foundation is definitely for everybody. And with all that said, I think that does complete the video for this evening. I hope you did enjoy me demonstrating the foundation and doing the wear test. I was happy to do so because I really wanted to try this foundation. So if you did enjoy this evening's video, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video. And share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.